because first of all we were living in Kibera. Then all of a sudden you are calling me in this big, big, big house, and I know very well you cannot afford it. Huh? I, 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 James, James, I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid the way you think I am. We were living with you in Kibera, and I know very well that there's nothing you are doing different, apart from the things that we used to do, me and you in Kibera. James, so wake you already, no? <laughs> How can you say that? No, someone put you. You mean you? Someone put you because you cannot afford this type of house. Now, uh, you, you should change and try and follow in my footsteps and, and do business like me. I should have followed your footsteps. Now you start a business. James, what type of business do you do? I. I, I, I sell fish. I bring fish from Lake Victoria. Which type of fish? I, I, I bring water. Eh? Oh. And you know, fish is fish. Okay. Then why am I here? No. Can you remember her? No, no, I can't recall her. Do you remember? Long time ago, when when we went to Ayan, we, we crossed the railway here as we were moving to Ayan, and then uh, there was this uh, fish and chips place, and then there's this girl that I told you I wanted. I, I gave her money. No, no, I didn't give her money. I'm forgetting. I I bought her chips, and then you started complaining. Yes, because you used my money. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. You remember that? I can't remember. How can I forget? That was the only money I had. Yes. And I'm still complaining about that money I did it. <laughs> yes, I remember. No, what don't about worry. Her? I can pay you that money. Okay. Yes. What about her? Now, Anne, you remember Anne was always feeling that she's so classy that she cannot date me. But Even she, though she ate my chips. But yes, but she was. She was completely out of your league. You are riffraff. A nika poop. Who knew nothing in life? You are just someone, some broke element around. <laughs> I don't even know how to negotiate who you are. Now you speak like that. And what if I tell you that I'm now living with her? I am her husband. What shall you say? You are living with her and your husband. Okay, so yes. you called me all the way from Kibera to come here to witness you living with her. The reason I called you is that when Anne did not tell me that she has a child, what? when she came, she finally came with a child. I've been wondering what to do. But you love kids. But this one is very big. Huh? She's, she's about 15 years. Almost turning 16. Mm. How about her face? How does she look? Because some people give birth to people that look like Chipansi. If you're asking about how she looks, mm. she's a very pretty little girl. Very pretty little girl. Now that is what I've been talking about. Now God don't bless people that don't have. God only bless people that have. Now that is the problem that we have in this world. God will only... Me, I don't even have one wife. And now God is blessing you with two at a go. How do you think that makes me feel? F makes me feel like I'm worthless, useless. You have two wives in the same house and you have a f fish business. Are you? You are complete. Are you no more? I'm still. What are you talking about? But, but you have, you have had. Say, you see, Anne is my wife. Yes. Yeah. She has come with a child. The child is 15 years old. Eh, yes. so I can call the child my daughter. Ah, does it matter? Ah, does it matter? Ah. Yeah, as long as I marry, I marry. Because you two, you need to marry. Marry everyone. If she bring a maid, marry. Marry everybody. You, you know you are my cousin. Okay, then give me, give me that lady. Yeah, give me that lady. If you cannot date her, then let me date her. I have suffered a lot. And no matter what you say, I'm very in, sure. In Kibera, there are so many ladies. 
Uh, and you left them if there. If you don't want the, one, the ones that are staying with you in, in, okay. in Katwekira, mm-hmm. uh, th- you can cross over to Ayan or, or even to Olympe. Why, why, did you, you, why did you cross over? Why did you cross over? Why did you let me to cross over? You go cross over. Let me be here. <laughs> why did you cross over? You left those old beautiful ladies in Kibera and now you are coming here. I'm telling you that you have a very beautiful wife and now a very beautiful daughter. Why don't you just give me one? Instead of you telling me to cross, you cross, go. If you want to cross, cross. Hey, it's a very simple thing. You cross, I follow. I can't repent. Yeah. Oh, Galo, anyway, don't, don't get angry. I'll, I'll still find a way of fixing you. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. For now, I think I'll, I'll get you some money for, for your rent. <laughs> yes. Pay it double. <laughs> double. <laughs> Pay it double. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. And, uh, and you see, uh, I will come on Saturday. Okay. And we will talk more. Okay. Still, I'm not sure if you've given me the right advice. No, no. Because I cannot leave the mother. No, you don't leave the mother. Why would you leave the mother? You be a good husband. Lie to your wife. That's what husbands do. You lie. And then when you lie, you lie when you are confident. If you lie and when you are not confident, the wife will leave you. You have to learn to lie and you lie confidently. I have said what I can tell you. Please give me my rent. So if I speak the truth, uh, I can't stay with her. How will you stay with your wife while speaking the truth? Please give me my rent. Yeah, we have to go early because I'm going to do a train and the job. Now I want to beat the traffic. I was just checking some things here. I was trying to get a very to it. Nini Brian? Of course, to Menda. Oh. What? She's not well. I think I think we should go and check on her. And she's puking. Yeah. Uh, why do you rush to the hey. conclusion? Stacy to whom in your why are you concluding so fast? Stacy! Stacy, are you pregnant? Eh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I'm just sick. sick really. You're sick? Sick? Yes. Stacy, are you pregnant? No. When you find out you're pregnant, you're mm-hmm. <laughs> You're being too harsh on her. 